my loves, hey my loves. Welcome to Brianna's Inner Goddess Awakening, your sacred space for tarot reading, spiritual enlightenment, and transformation guidance. Join me on a journey of self-discovery, empowerment, and spiritual growth as I share my life lessons and teachings to awaken the inner goddess within. Hi! Let's get into it. Hey, my loves. Hey, my loves. We're going to do a short talk today. So I keep on getting questions about friendship, friendship, friendships. Okay. A lot of people keep telling me, you know, um, why you always, um, you know, go through, you know, friends, friendships, you know, why your friendships never last and things to that nature. Well, I'm going to briefly talk on it because maybe, you know, they ask because they have the same issue, which I know a lot of my goddesses do. Now, I'm going to try to explain it as best way as possible. Now, I'm going to say for me, a lot of friendships that comes my way as of now is through my business, right? Now, um, that's something that I had to learn. You know, just logic, <laughs> don't miss, you know, business with pleasure. Because if you're my client, you're my client. I don't want you to be a friend. Now, if you was always, you was already a childhood friend and things of that nature, then I don't suggest you coming to me for me to help you because I know too much into, you know, your life. I know too much about your situation. So I will refer you to somebody else. Okay. Now, with that being said, a lot of my friendships, we start off as friends. We start off as, you know, doing, you know, uh, business. So they're getting a service from me or they're buying products from me and they get attached to my energy. Assessor, listen. I want you to remember that because that's something I'm going to talk about, being a sense of my energy. Okay. So then we turn into friends. And that's the problem all in itself right there. Okay, now let's rewind. Being excessive. People will befriend you because they love your personality. They love the way you are. But then they forget in the beginning, when you met me, what was I to you? You know, I was a spiritual coach. I was a leader. You know what I'm saying? So just because we're friends does not mean that, you know, you're going to have me at your disposal. A lot of people be friends, spiritual goddesses, because they feel like, okay, well, this is my spiritual gangster. You know, they have that persona. Oh, this is my spiritual gangster. She can look out for me. I'm always be good. I can get free pop products and readings and that's a nay nay. No, no, baby. Listen. And when they can't get what they want, then they try to tear down your character because they have this. Now that y'all not friends, you're not doing what they want you to do. Now, another thing is, I have to be careful with, okay, they think just because y'all friends, you're going to deal with their, you know, toxic ways. Nay, nay. Nay, nay, baby. Listen, now that we're friends, I see firsthand about what you're going through, why people treat you the way they treat you, why people talk to you the way they talk to you. You know, I see firsthand. So nay, 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 baby, you cannot lie to me. Because I, first of all, I already see and I know. But I'm seeing firsthand how you treat people, how you move with people. And if it's a toxic way, because some, some toxic ways are not really bad. They are helpful depending on how you use them. But if you're moving in a toxic, obsessive way, I'm going to tell you, nay, nay. No, 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 baby. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Because I do that with anybody around me. Elevation is the key. And if you're not trying to learn from, you know, your toxic ways, then why are we communicating in general as a whole? Why are we even communicating? We're going to learn. We're going to elevate, you know. So now back to the other thing when they try to tear down your character. See, now that you're not doing what they want you to do or they they realize, okay, well, some of them, and it's, it's crazy because some people don't even realize that right off the bat, like, dang, 
you know, this is a flaw that I have and she's not being mean. You know, she's just trying to help me, you know, better myself. Some people don't even realize that off the bat. That's something, see, listen, and the ones that don't realize that off the bat. In your book, you're, in their book, you're going to be the bad person. You're going to be weird and this and that and everything else. Oh my God. You're going to be the worst person ever. But continue doing what you're doing. Continue elevating. Continue teaching. Continue being that beam of light, you know, that everybody can not only benefit from, but also reflect from. You get what I'm saying? Because they, they might not understand what you're doing or they might not see what's going on then. But, huh, nay, nay, <laughs> listen to me, baby. After a while, they're going to figure out, like, okay. And, and, and sometimes it might even be months, years down the line. They come back and be like, okay, I'm sorry. You said something to me and I thought you was being mean. I was upset because you called me out on my fly. Ain't nobody else ever did that. But I realized you was telling the guy, damn it, the truth. Okay. <laughs> okay. I had to sit down and I had to go within and I had to realize she's right. Okay. And some people, some people might not even come back and tell you, but they will sit here and they will watch you. They will constantly watch you. They will stalk your profile. You know, they will they will stay to break you up in rooms that you ain't even been in or you don't plan on being in, baby. You get what I'm saying? They'll continue doing things of that nature or whatever. But you have to be careful, y'all. You have to be very careful. People put this type of um, illusion on you when you are a spiritual teacher or spiritual leader. You're in the spiritual world. You have to act a certain way. You have to be a certain way. And if you're not this certain way that they see other um, spiritual people being, then you're weird, you're toxic, you're this and you're that. No. Every spiritual person that you run across is going to be different. No two men are the same. You know, we're not the same. So you have some people that do different things, move different ways because they incorp incorporate different things into their practice. And then, you know, they have different beliefs and things of that nature. So when you go to every, just like in the world, when you, you meet different people, different people, different personality, different mindset. When you in the spiritual world, just because you're in a spiritual world and it's, diff it's a different vibration, it does not change. Everybody is on their own different vibration. And if you want to be friends with this person or that person, or whatever the case may be, you have to come up to their vibration. And if not, then you're going to get called out on the things that you're doing that that person has healed from and uh, and heal okay that's another thing when a spiritual person brings something up to your attention that's something that they dealt with they healed from and they ele you know they elevated you know the energy boom period now so if they bring that up to you for or oh, for anybody okay let's let's just say for anybody to bring something up to your attention that you know they feel like you could do better at, or they feel like, you know, this going to be, you know, this you're going to struggle with this issue later down the line. They had to heal from that, baby. Or they had to been around it. They had to run across that issue, that problem, somehow, some way. You get what I'm saying? For them to even know, like, listen, this going to be a problem. If we're going to be friends, if we're going to even communicate with each other, nay, nay, this has to be fixed. This has to be corrected. And we have to come to a common ground, you know? So I just want to briefly speak on that. And now, conclusion. Boom, let's bring it on home for you. Okay, now, it's not that you cannot find the right friend, okay? Let's change the narrative. Let's change the vibration. Maybe 
the people that you have been around are on the old vibration that you was on. Maybe you have elevated to a new conscious, a new level, and the people that you used to communicate with, you used to talk to, has not yet vibrated to your, you know, your frequency, okay? And that's why y'all clash because y'all are no longer on the same frequency, okay? So that's why you could be friends with somebody and they're saying, you know, out the blue, it seemed like boom. Yeah, nah, I don't like you doing this. I don't like you doing that. You're doing this is kind of nerve wracking, you know? You're making me uneasy. <laughs> Time to disconnect. That's how it goes. That means the person that chose to disconnect, the connection is growing. The person that's still mad and angry and sad and feels some type of way, they're not growing. They're not healing. And ultimately, it comes down to that person's ultimately mad that you called them out on their flock. That's it. That's all. Hmm. So, a lot of people was asking me that because whenever I go through different encounters, that win. I'm sorry, y'all. That win is winning today. But a lot of people was like, you know, I go through a lot of situations when it comes to friendships and relationships as well. But we just talked about the friendships today. And they was like, well, why you don't keep a friend? They was like, I know that you're a great person. They was like, but you change so much. I do change. Y'all, listen to me. Within just this last year, I have elevated so much. So a lot of people that I used to communicate with, it is distance between me and them. And to me, distance is the apology. Distance is the sorry. Distance is my um, peace with them. You know, my cutoff point with them. That's my closure, baby. People don't understand that, but that that's that's a lot of growth and understanding and knowledge. Okay. Oh, and a little side note. Oh, boom, boom. While we here. Oh, it slipped my mind just that fast because yeah, I was enjoying this good old sun and this wind. Ooh. Being in nature, nature is everything. Okay. Well, I guess I guess I just do another video if that comes back up to my mind. Okay, y'all, so we're closing this out. I just want to briefly talk on that. So hope, hopefully you guys grab some type of understanding from that and some type of knowledge for a deeper conversations, you know, deeper um, sessions. You know, book your girl. But if you just want to learn, I do teach you guys different things you know a lot of people ask me why i started my spiritual journeys about their chakras different crystals and herbs like y'all if you go to my patreon you could spend two dollars just for support and you can still get some you can still get i'll say about 40 percent of the knowledge or you could pay 25 dollars a month and you can get the full knowledge of everything i post i have not post the herbs on there yet a lot of natural herbs i'm posting them I have started posting crystals on there. I have started posting other information, you know, about um, reading your zodio, all type of things like that. Y'all, bear with me. I'm loading everything on there piece by piece, y'all. So just bear with me. Everything is going to be on there. I have a lot of information, especially if you want to start your spiritual business or you just want to start a business in general. It's going to be vendors. It's going to be all type of stuff. Everything I have learned from 2018 when I started my business, which I started off in beauty. I started off doing nails, wigs, hair, and then I had my old clothing line. Then I had my, then I started my spiritual business and I still do um, my skincare and I'm coming back with the clothesline. So yeah, it's going to be all type of vendors. It's going to be all type of coaching about business, all type of things, y'all. So just check it out. When everything is uploaded and ready, I will let you guys know. But for the time being, I'm just uploading stuff little by little. I'm starting up with all my spiritual things, and then I'll incorporate all the business later. Okay? All right, love you, bye. 
Thank you for tuning in to Brianna's Inner Goddess Awakening. May you carry the wisdom, light, and guidance from our time together into your own spiritual journey. Remember, your inner goddess, guiding, goddess, <laughs> is always within you, guiding you towards love, truth, and transformation. Until we meet again, and bless be. Bye, babies.